Hey everyone, welcome back to Brittany's channel. Obviously, I am not Brittany. Um, I'm actually her husband, Anthony, and while they're off shopping, I thought I'd jump on uh, and kind of do a little video similar to what Brittany did with her Mother's Day video, and I'll link it right there. And I thought it would be interesting to kind of give you an insight as to, you know, the opposite side from my end, because I never really thought that I was gonna date someone, you know, with a kid and it was not anything that I had planned for and I kind of just em embraced it and and it well obviously it turned out well but <laughs> so I kind of just wanted to give it from my point of view and my perspective because it was challenging at times and tough but very very rewarding so let's just jump into it the first time we met our conversation it was interesting like Brittany had stated on her video that I think within the first two minutes she had said you know oh I'd love to hang out with my daughter and I was like what <laughs> that kind of threw me for a loop because you know usually I mean that was the first time I've ever come across someone that you know looked my age but had a three-year-old daughter and so it didn't really affect the conversation I mean we had a great time and we talked forever but uh, the I remember leaving the restaurant and my friends were like, oh, hey, you know, it looked like you were having a really good time. Like, you know, give us a scoop. And so, so I told them and we, you know, I did have a good time. And, you know, I was attracted to Brittany and I thought she was super cute. And I was like, but she has a daughter. And they're like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, she has a three-year-old daughter. And they're like, oh, I mean, they didn't really say much, but they knew there, it was kind of like, oh, that's well, are you gonna still talk to her? <laughs> I mean, so that night I got back home and, well, I'm kind of a big pansy when it comes to getting girls' numbers. Like, I was never the guy to go up to a girl and be like, you know, start a you know, small talk and then after be like, oh, hey, can I get your number? I don't know, that's just, that was not me. So I left that, that night um, after talking to Brittany for, you know, a few hours and I didn't even get her number. And it wasn't any, it wasn't because I didn't like her or, you know, had a good time. I just, I was basically shy. But the next day, I think I, it was the afternoon and I was walking my dog and I had gotten a Facebook message from her. And it's like, oh, hey, how's it going? I honestly don't remember what the message said, but basically she reached out first. And I was like, actually extremely happy to get her message. And, you know, we chatted back and forth and I got to know her a little bit more and at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm not, I don't want to cut someone out just on the fact that they had a child. And so Brittany and I, we were talking back and forth and we started hanging out. Um, we didn't hang out every day. It was like once a week because, you know, she did have Jaden and I was never introduced to Jaden until, you know, months after. And, you know, we started really connecting and really bonding. And I remember her wanting to introduce me to Jaden. And I, I've seen, I saw pictures and she was just the, like, just the little cutest thing, but completely opposite of what Brittany, you know, looks like. I had gone to church with her family and after the service, cause Jaden was at the kids, kids service area. And I remember seeing her and, uh, you know, her Nana was holding her and was just, just meeting her for the first time and just thinking on how small she was and just her cute little voice and, I definitely was nervous because I think that might have been the first time I met Brittany's parents and I just didn't really know how to act how I would fit into this whole dynamic because as you heard of Brittany's story it was interesting and this is the first time that Brittany had dated someone after you know Jaden's dad so it was all new territory kind of for everyone so we went to In-N-Out I remember Jaden being right in between both of us. Her feet were like dangling off the, the stool and we were eating and kind of very surreal because I, it never, when I met Jaden and you know, us going off to do something together, it never scared me like, oh my God, like, is this gonna be my kid? Or is, you know, am I gonna be a dad and have all these responsibilities and have to, I don't know. It just, I didn't feel scared at all or, feel like okay this isn't me and at that point I knew that you know I was definitely falling for Brittany and 
even meeting Jaden, like it just kind of just kind of made everything like surreal, you know, just like this could be my family or not that I was like wanting a family, but everything that I thought that I was or who I was supposed to be just kind of went away and At that point, like, I knew that I kind of needed them in my life, and and that there, like, is something special here that I can't ignore. So after that, we've, we dated for, I think, a year and a half before I asked Brittany to marry me. And our dates were very <laughs> family focused and you know, that was okay. I didn't mind that at all. You know, we would go to the zoo, we'd go to the park. It was like we were our own little tiny family doing fun things. And I was able to get to know Jaden a little bit more and obviously Brittany and it was her way at probably, or I'm assuming that she wanted to see how I was gonna act or how this was gonna play out. and be a good fit and a good dad to Jaden because Brittany can't think about herself. She also has to think about Jaden and her wants and her needs. And I totally understood that. But during that time, I th it was this weird, not weird, but it was kind of a transition because I was stepping into this role, which I didn't, in my head, I didn't really think on how big of an impact it was or an impact that it would make on Jaden's life. I just knew that I loved them so much and I was always going to be there for them and I loved our like little family and that's how it was going to be. And I didn't I didn't see it from kind of an outside perspective and you know I've heard from many different people like you know you're such a good guy for stepping into that role um, and being there for them and I get, and you didn't necessarily have to do it. You could have said no. You could have dated someone else. And I never really saw it that way. Felt just so natural. And like, this is kind of what God wanted me to do. And he put both of them in my life because he knew that, you know, I needed them. But it did come with some challenges because Jaden's dad was kind of semi in the picture and she would go up you know during the holidays and you know a little bit of summer and for a three four five year old that doesn't necessarily understand kind of what's going on I remember like she would come back and kind of ask Brittany like oh why aren't you you know with daddy um how come we can't all live together and and hearing that it my first emotional reaction was kind of just hurt and I know she wasn't doing that on purpose obviously but it, it was tough because you're putting yourself out there to to love this little girl and you're trying to fill this role and you know you were there for her and you know to hear her say something like that it was just like uh man what am i doing what am i doing wrong like how come you know how come she can't see me that way or it, it, it was tough and you had i had to take myself out of the situation and and kind of see it from her perspective um so at our wedding i had made vows for Brittany, but then i also made vows for Jaden because she was such a big part obviously with our little family that, you know, I wanted to make sure that she knew I wasn't going any anywhere, you know? Jaden, you are such a precious little girl. We can't imagine our life without you. We are so excited for us to start our new lives together as a family. And we have a few things we want to promise you. We promise to always love and protect you. We promise to do everything to make sure you are happy and well taken care of. We promise to teach you God's promises and always make sure you feel safe in our home. We promise to love you forever and support your dreams no matter what. We promise that mommy and me, mommy and I, will always be married and we will always be a family together. And we also promise you to buy a puppy really soon. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and with that, I give you this ring. It's kind of crazy because just going through all those photos and, you know, seeing how tiny she was and just the videos and you don't you don't realize how fast it goes you know and especially in the industry that we're in things move so fast and you just don't want to miss out on any of those moments so if you guys do have kids or plan to have kids make sure to to spend time with them and enjoy their little personalities and you know put the phone down every once in a while and it's because it goes by fast i mean well we only have i technically only have six more years with Jaden before she's off to college and that's that's nuts like only six years left like she's not a little baby anymore even though she will be our our little girl it's just she's growing up and you don't want to miss that The first time Jaden had called me dad, she actually asked if she could. And I'm trying to remember when it was. It had to have been maybe shortly after we had got engaged. She had asked, you know, can I call you dad? And, you know, in my heart, I was just like, uh, I, you know, I love that. And, you know, I was kind of already f feeling that role, but, you know, from her eyes, it, it was a real real something and you know from then on all she did was you know call me dad and it it made me extremely happy and with that there were some trials because Jaden did have another dad and I never wanted her to feel like she had to choose between one or the other um, and that's what Brittany and I as we were dating as things got serious as we got married and you know, a couple years after marriage, and this Jaden started to get older and started to understand a little bit more year after year, we always wanted to make sure that she felt safe and confident within our family. And when she goes to visit, you know, her daddy, that she can feel safe and confident up there because we never wanted her to say, no, you have to love this dad and not the other dad. And you can't do that to a little girl so we've always had told her you know it is it is okay to love both you know dads you do not have to choose and we understand that there there are two families like this is you know our family and you have a little family up there and we never want you to feel like you're stuck in the middle and that's something that we've had to constantly, you know, reassure her of. That she can be completely open, she can, you know, speak her mind, and she can, you know, love both sides. And so that was, that was kind of a big thing as I started to step into the dad role that we've had to deal with. Even though it can be challenging, it, there are so many other joys to to being a dad and the only thing that like i really wish that i would have been there you know in the, when she was born or when she first spoke or took her first steps and i feel like that's something that i i missed out a little bit on and i really wish i could have been there but that doesn't change anything it's just something that i'll get to enjoy when yeah, when or if Brittany and I have another kid and I can experience that little aspect that I got to miss out on. So hopefully this video wasn't terribly long um, and I didn't really know or have a game plan on how I was gonna talk about it. But if I missed anything or you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave in the comments below and I'll answer them personally. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a little bit snippet on, I guess, how I became a dad and I'm loving it. I'll always love it. And it's gonna be 
there's going to be some challenges along the way, especially now that Jaden's becoming a teenager, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So take care, guys, and make sure to wish your father a happy Father's Day tomorrow. Bye.